Hello Internet, today I just want to quickly show you my new Samsung LED TV that I've just bought from PC World and this is just going to be a quick unboxing video so let's get to it. T24B300EE whatever that means it's the white version as you can see if you want the white version is 50 pounds more the black version is 50 pounds cheaper so yeah up to you man uh so what has it got it's a 24 inch full hd monitor uh, it's got a built-in digital tuner so you can receive free view uh, it's got some speakers surround speakers yeah i doubt it uh it's got a remote control um uh, right, so what have we got here? The manual, some stickers, a VGA cable, uh, a power cable, some batteries, um, an audio 3.5mm audio cable. But the power lead is a European plug, so please tell me if it has, oh yeah it has, it has got a UK plug. And there's the remote, it's quite small. There's the UK power plug with the three pin. And it comes with a energy rating sticker thing. Not that I need it. And what on earth is this? What is it? High glossy, what? What is it? Is it part of the base or something? It's weird. I have, yeah, it's probably the part of the base. Looks weird. I thought it was part of the power supply plug or something. Strange. And yes, here's a base. It's in white. Don't really like the shape, but it kind of looks tacky, but whatever. So let's try and get this out then. Foam, I hate foam. And I've just smashed my brand new screen. So I'm gonna have to end this video at this point. Sorry guys. Just kidding. So here it is. All right, that's the front. Here's the back. Uh, power supply. Uh, you've got the antenna in, PC VGA in, a single HDMI in, but of course you can like use an, uh, an adapter so you can plug in DVI connections, uh, RCA and composite component AV in here, a SCART in and PC audio, right, just an audio input here. You've got a USB connection here and a common interface card, but I don't think we ever need this kind of stuff in the UK, so whatever. Uh, a standard Visa mount, Visa as in spelled with the E, not the I. And uh, that's it really. Not much else to it. We've got the mount at the bottom, which I'm going to attempt to assemble now. Jump cut! Here we are then, it's all been set up, it's behind me as you can probably see. Uh, the, it was relatively easy to set up, I mean there wasn't much to it, the base just snapped in and it's got a little screw at the bottom to tighten it all up. Um, then just plug in your your game console, TV or what, what, what not. Um, the power cable that came with it is extremely short and annoying. Uh, I don't know why it's so damn short, but luckily I had a longer one because I simply couldn't reach my plug. It's like less than a meter long, I think. So that's like one of the annoying issue with it. The quality of the screen was well, not been calibrated or I've not changed any of the settings, but straight out of the box, it looks okay. Not the best screen in the world for the price, uh, but it's definitely all right for the price. I find it acceptable. And you probably get better um, quality if you paid for like a proper monitor rather than the ones with a TV tuner built in, but I really needed the extra like composite and HDMI, VGA and all the different kinds of connections so I can like plug in my eight older game consoles because that was my main use of this screen. Oh, quickly, just another thing that I want to mention is um, it doesn't seem to have a headphone out socket, so that was annoying or like I didn't check properly. Um, a bit annoying because there's, the sound is okay, it's really loud, but uh, obviously it sounds a bit crappy because this is like an inbuilt um, um, speakers. That's something to consider if you want to use headphones for gaming or whatnot. Yeah, before I go, I guess I'll just quickly show you 
how it's been set up on my system, shall we? Yeah, let's do that, why not? Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully you can see it. It is plugged in with my, no fanboying, no console wars. I've got my Xbox 360 and my PS3 here. Uh, literally, I've not played them for three years maybe. So once I've plugged them in, there was like a lengthy update. The Xbox update took like 10 minutes or so, but the flipping PS3 update took like, I don't know, like half an hour. And when I plugged in Gran Turismo, like that took like another half an hour. It's so, well, I won't go into that, but it's so annoying with these stupid Sony updates, man. It takes forever. Um, so yeah, here's the screen, all nice and white. Like I said, uh, that's the, another reason because it matches everything in white. Uh, well, matches the Xbox 360 as well, as I've got it here. Um, but yeah, I just preferred it with white and everything because this corner of my room is kind of lightly colored. And yeah, well, that's just a personal preference. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it fits here nicely on my IKEA shelf and here's the PS3 which is connected through uh, some HDMI cable. Uh, yeah, um, what else can I show you? Uh, here's the back of it. Oh, sorry. Uh, like I said, I'm using component cable for the Xbox 360 because this is an old model and it doesn't have the HDMI. So like I said, most um, PC monitors don't have composite or component connections so I, I really wanted that and the SCART connection is also handy if I want to play with all the consoles a Sega Saturn maybe uh, but yeah and here's the um, fiber optic cable ringing out and it goes to here which is my external DAC and slash amplifier and um, headphone amplifier which also runs towards my new Sennheiser Momentums so that's my quick little unboxing slash review, first impression, showing you my corner setup thing. Two most annoying thing was the short power cable and no headphone out jack. Uh, but besides from that, I really like the look of it. Uh, the screen quality is good, not the best, but good. Um, everything is fine. Uh, yeah, I, hopefully I'll have lots of fun using it in the future. That's it. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.